स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ न्यू टॉपिक टूडे एंड दैट इज द लास्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम यूर सिलेबस एंड द टॉपिक इज टॉपिक नंबर फाइव ऑसिलेटर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट पीरियड वी सॉल्व द न्यूमरिकल एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन फीडबैक सर्किट्स स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज डू रिमेंबर दैट न्यूमरिकल एग्जाम्पल्स आर ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी आस्ट ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक try to solve and practice it at that particular place we are completing the fourth topic and in concert in consultation with that today we are going to start with topic number 5 namely oscillator <coughs> oscillators are the electronic circuitry that produces oscillatory waveforms in the form of electrical signals which are necessary to be used in the different electronic circuitries and that is the reason why we are going to study the oscillators friends in physics you have studied the simple harmonic oscillations means if the particular process repeats in a given interval of time then that one you can call it as it is oscillatory process and here the electrical oscillations are generated electrical wave forms are generated which are oscillating and the circuitry which generates these wave forms are called as the oscillators so these are used for the different purpose to generate the carrier wave high frequency signal low frequency oscillators local oscillators wherever we need the frequency in all these places the oscillators are playing the very vital roles and the details of these oscillator circuitry we are going to study in our fourth coming lectures students we will plan now how to proceed with this particular lecture under the title known as lecture plan topic number 5 oscillator we will begin this topic with the introduction where we are going to introduce this particular topic then we are going to study the types of oscillators after that we are going to study the barkhousian criteria this is the criteria which is uh, to be satisfied by the oscillators to generate the oscillations next one is we are going to study how the oscillations are generated in the tank circuit and the meaning of the tank circuit that we are going to study in the working of lc tank circuit then we are going to study four types of oscillators in detail one is hartley oscillator second one is colbert's oscillator third one is crystal oscillator fourth one is weinbridge oscillator and last one is phase shift oscillator these five oscillators we are going to study along with their construction their working how they are going to generate the oscillations and all those aspects we are going to cover in this entire topic to be referred as an oscillator so let us begin to start with introduction of the oscillator <coughs> as we have already started to introduce the oscillations oscillators and that is 
these are the electronic circuitries which generates oscillatory electrical waveforms maybe those are going to generate the sinusoidal waveforms or maybe the non sinusoidal waveforms sinusoidal means the waveforms in the form of sine wave dear friends we are, you might be aware with the sine waves you also have, might be aware with apart from sine wave means maybe those are square wave maybe triangular waves maybe sort of waves all those are called as the non sinusoidal waves so all such a type of the waveforms are going to be generated by means of an electronic circuitry those electronic circuitry are called as the oscillators they are also used to generate the frequency maybe those are those frequencies are going to be generated in a audio frequency or maybe those are going to be generated in a radio frequency all such a kind of electronic circuitry we can call it as the oscillatory circuitry to represent its basic definition one can say it is the electronic circuit that produces the output without any input look at how the definition is it produces the output without any input in practice no anything exists in the world that produces the output without giving input everywhere if you give something to other other is going to give you something but oscillators have an exceptional case no need to provide something input to it it directly produces the output from the point of electronic language we can say it is the electronic circuitry that produces the output signal without giving any input signal it can be also defined as it converts dc into ac friends up till now you might be having the meaning associated with the dc and ac dc means direct current means it is a unidirectional current the current that flows in only one direction is called as direct current or the current which has ideally zero frequency is called as the direct current whereas alternating current is the current which has possesses some frequency means it is not unidirectional the directional direction of current is changing varying the polarity of the current the polarity of the signal current is changing between positive half cycle and also the negative half cycle so that's why there is a generation of waveforms from the oscillatory circuit maybe it is a sinusoidal maybe it is a non sinusoidal but in both the cases the varying signal is going to be get generated thus one can say oscillatory circuit is are the circuitry that converts direct current into alternating current friends you may ask the question that inverters are also playing the same role that is also going to convert dc into ac but there is a lot of difference between inverter and oscillator inverter has got a fixed frequency that is 50 hertz ac whereas you can generate any kind of frequency from the oscillator that is the basic difference inverter is a high voltage device that is 230 volt ac it is going to produce but oscillators are going to use to produce only less than that particular voltage and that is obviously being utilized for the electronic circuit that is how one can understand the meaning of oscillators friends these oscillators are going to be classified depending upon different factors 
by using those factors we are going to study now the types of oscillators first factor on which the oscillators are classified are depending on nature of the output waveforms so which kind of an output waveform it generate accordingly they are classified into two types one is a sinusoidal oscillator and second one is a relaxation oscillator a relaxation oscillator means non sinusoidal oscillator relaxation oscillator is a oscillator that generates a waveforms apart from sine wave means it may going to generate square wave it may going to generate the rectangular wave it may going to generate the triangular wave it may going to generate the sawtooth kind of the wave all such a waveforms if generated by means of an oscillator then that is called as the relaxation oscillator if it generate only sine wave then that one you can call it as the sinusoidal oscillator thus depends upon nature of the output waveforms there are two types one is a sinusoidal oscillator and second one is the relaxation oscillator another factor is depending upon the frequency generation so what frequency it is going to be generated accordingly it is classified into two types one is audio frequency oscillator and second one is a radio frequency oscillator audio frequency oscillator is an oscillator that generates the frequency within audio frequency range means within the frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz whereas a radio frequency oscillator is an oscillator that generates the frequency within a radio frequency range that is about 20 kilohertz those are called as rf oscillators or radio frequency oscillators this classification is going to depends upon frequency generated by an oscillator third factor is depends upon tank circuit used means every oscillator circuit makes use of the tank circuit and what kind of tank circuit it is used it is going to decide the type of oscillator one is lc oscillator and second one is rc oscillator lc oscillator means in tank circuit if inductance and capacitors are used or if tank circuit is formulated by inductance and capacitor then it is called as a lc tank circuit and if tank circuit contains a resistance and capacitor to generate the oscillations then it is called as rc oscillator generally lc oscillators are radio frequency oscillators that is if oscillator contains inductance and capacitor then it generates the radio frequency and rc oscillators are audio frequency oscillators that means an oscillator containing resistance and capacitor is going to generate audio frequency friends this is how one can classify the oscillators into the different types then we will proceed to understand the meaning of the positive feedback friends in the last topic we have studied feedback is of two types one is positive feedback and another one is negative feedback in entire last topic we have studied the negative feedback only at the beginning of that particular topic when we have studied the classification of the feedback circuitry that is positive feedback and negative feedback they are just introduce the meaning of positive feedback same positive feedback we are applying here that is in the theory of positive feedback amplifier voltage gain is given as avf is equal to av upon 1 minus kav basically feedback has the concept that some part of the output is feed back to the input if that is added back to the input then we can say there is a positive feedback 
and this feedback signal is added back to the input provided the feedback factor k is positive. Feedback factor k is positive indicates that the fraction of the output which is to be given at the input it is added into input so as to increase the input when input is increased naturally output is going to be increased by the gain times. Thus, the gain of an amplifier after feedback is given as AVF is equal to AVF means voltage gain after feedback is equal to AVF upon 1 minus KAV. Here, minus KAV is subtracted from the 1. And when you subtract, 1 from the when you subtract kav from the 1 the denominator becomes less as the denominator becomes less gain naturally increases avf increases thus we can say avf is always greater than the av means after feedback voltage gain is greater than that of voltage gain without feedback in one sentence we can say if positive feedback is applied voltage gain is increased. So this is the equation we have considered by with the help of the theory associated with the feedback amplifier. In this particular positive feedback voltage gain equation if you put the condition that 1 minus KAV equal to 0 if we put 1 minus KAV equal to 0, that is KAV equal to 1. When KAV is equal to 1, then 1 minus KAV equal to 0. When 1 minus KAV equal to 0, AVF is equal to AV upon 0 and that is equal to infinity. Look at here. By putting the condition that KAV equal to 1, we can get 1 minus KAV equal to 0. When 1 minus KAV equal to 0, AVF equal to AV upon 0 and AVF becomes equal to infinity. Infinity means voltage gain becomes infinity. When voltage gain becomes infinity, now we are going to define the voltage gain here. We are aware that voltage gain is the ratio of output voltage upon input voltage. And this ratio of output voltage upon input voltage is now infinity. As VO upon VI is the infinity, it has the meaning that VI should be 0. When VI should be 0, output is infinity. Means when VI is 0, VO is infinity. Means VI is 0, means no input signal is applied. But when VI is 0, no input signal is applied, output turns to be infinity means output becomes maximum. Thus we defined an oscillator or the electronic circuit that produces the output without any input. Thus we get the maximum output without input. This is possible if equation of voltage gain for positive feedback amplifier holds good. Thus for oscillator, positive feedback must be there. Means to say that an oscillator has to oscillate, to say that oscillator has to produce the maximum output, it should satisfy the condition that 1 minus KAV should be 0 and when it satisfies that particular condition, then naturally AVF becomes equal to infinity, then it starts generating the oscillations. And this is true if and only if there exists a positive feedback in an amplifier. Friends, in oscillator, positive feedback is obtained provided the phase difference between input and output signal is either 0 degree or 360 degree. Means all these conditions are satisfied 
provided the phase shift between output and that of the input signal is either 360 degree or 0 degree. Thus one can say if the phase angle between input and output is 360 degree or 0 degree then 1 minus k v equal to 0 if that is equal to 0 a v f equal to infinity then the amplifier circuitry are going to be converted into an oscillatory circuitry. So that's how you can say this is one of the condition this is one of the condition to be satisfied to work the amplifier circuitry as an oscillator. Now we are going to study the Barkhusian criteria. To sustain the oscillations in the oscillators, oscillator has to satisfy two conditions. One is the loop gain of an amplifier that is KAV should be equal to greater than or equal to 1. Just now we have studied. And this is possible only when there is a positive feedback. Means to sustain the oscillations, feedback must be positive and KAV should be greater than or equal to 1. As we have already studied that feedback becomes positive if and only if the phase difference between input and output signal is either 0 degree or 360 degree. These two conditions are known as Barkhusian criteria to be satisfied by an amplifier circuitry so that it is going to act as an oscillator. This is the essential condition to work an amplifier as an oscillator. Friends, that's all about introduction of an oscillator, Barkhusian criteria, types of oscillator, meaning of positive feedback, rest we are going to study how the oscillations are going to be produced within the oscillatory circuit, especially tank circuit and its meaning next time.